All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 4. So to solve this, well, I'm going to first rewrite 2 to the power of 20 here as 2 to the power of 10 times 2. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 4, sorry. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now 4 I can rewrite as 2 squared. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 10 and b is 2. So I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 2 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 2. Now 2 to the power of 10, 2 to the power of 10 is 1024. So I have 1024 plus 2 times 1024 minus 2. 1024 plus 2 is 1026 times 1024 minus 2 is 1022. So now we have 1026 times 1022. Well, if we try to multiply these terms as is, it's gonna be, it's gonna take really long and it's gonna be really difficult and very easy to make mistakes. So an easier way to multiply these two is to break them down. So 1026, we can rewrite as 1000 plus 26 and 1022, we can rewrite as 1000 plus 22. Now, all we have to do to get our answer is distribute. So we're gonna first start 1,000 and we're gonna distribute this to 1,022. So now I have 1,000 squared because 1,000 times 1,000, 1,000 squared plus 1,000 times 22 plus, now I'm gonna distribute the 26. So now I have 26 times 1,000 and finally plus 26 times 22. Now, it's much simpler to solve, as you can see. So 1,000 squared, that's going to be 1 million. And 1,000 times 22, that's 22,000. Uh, 1,000 times 26, that's 26,000. And 26 times 22, that's 572. So now to add all these up, well, 1 million plus 22,000 plus 26,000, that's 1,048,000. And we have 572 at the end. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 8 to the power of x is equal to 39. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as 2 to the power of x plus 2 squared to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 39. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y plus y squared plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 39. Now I'm going to subtract 39 on both sides. So these two cancel out and now I have y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 plus y minus 39 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite y squared here as negative 3y squared plus 4y squared. So I have this plus y minus 39 is equal to 0. Now from y to the power of 3 minus 3y squared, I can factor out y squared. So I have y squared times y minus 3.
So now I'm going to add 4y squared and I'm going to rewrite y here as negative 12y plus 13y. So now from here I have y squared times y minus 3 plus from 4y, my 4y squared minus 12y, I can factor out 4y. So I have 4y times y minus 3 plus 13 times y minus 3. This is equal to 0. So now if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 13 is equal to 0. So now this gives me, oops, sorry. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 3 is equal to 0, meaning y is equal to 3. And I have y squared plus 4y plus 13 equals 0. So to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b, so negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c, which is 13. And if you notice, this is actually going to be 16 minus 52, which is negative 36. And you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is wrong. And my only solution for y is 3. Now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal y, meaning 2 to the power of x equals 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides. And this is the same thing as x times log 2 is equal to log 3, meaning x is equal to log 3 over log 2. All right. So in this problem, I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. So I obviously want to find the value of x for this problem. So for my solution, I first start with 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. And now, if I have something in the form x to the power of 0, right? Well, any, any number to the power of 0 is simply 1. So we know we see 1 here, and 1 is the same thing as a number to the power of 0. So I'm going to rewrite 1 as 10 to the power of 0. So now I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of 0, because 10 to the power of 0 is the same thing as 1. And the reason I did this is so that these two bases here are the same. Now, as you see, they're both 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. Meaning over here, because both of our bases are the same, they both are 10, our exponents are going to be equal to each other as well. Meaning 9 minus x squared, that's going to be equal to 0. So I have 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, as you see, we have a simple equation to solve. So to solve this equation, I'm going to add x squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and then I have x squared is equal to 9. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 9. And the square root of x squared, that's x. The square root of 9, this can be positive or negative 3. So my two solutions for x are x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. So now I actually have another solution. So again, I have... 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. And this time I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So I have log of 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to log 1. So now log of 1, that's 0. So I have log 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's the same thing as b times log a. So in this case, I have 9 minus x squared times log 10 is equal to 0. Now log 10, this is simply 0. Or sorry, this is simply 1. 
So now I have nine minus x squared times one, which is simply nine minus x squared is equal to zero. And again, I'm back to where I started. Nine minus x squared equals zero, so x is equal to three or negative three. So that is my second solution.